there's the main element here of the drums is the snare yeah sorry um, it's from vengeance uh, just EQ and some uh, some reverb yeah uh, it's going to the bus as a side chain so other elements are side chained to it and then there's this ride from before so Here in the end, there comes the wow filter. It opens here, I think. Yeah. So about uh, the build since there's uh, this is the main lead. It's the same preset. I think it's the preset called Super Saw in Silent. Mm. Yeah, just gain, DJM filter and EQ. Uh, DJM filter again for low cut. Uh, the saw opens, uh, you can hear it. <laughs> or not. <laughs> So here is already opened, and uh, then, then there's this build plug, which in, which is in preset that I made. It's really simple, uh, just a plug sound, which opens a little bit. Uh, the super the super sounds better with it, but. Nothing crazy, and then there's this uh, saw riser, which I think is the same sound as this one, the saw. It's just a riser. Uh, it goes up, I think, two octaves. Yeah. So this. Yeah, it opens up with the filter also and with gain, I think. Yeah. So this these are the build synths. Again, side chained a little bit of OTT and some compression. So this is the build, and of course some uh, uplifters and downlifters and impacts but these are all samples I use uh, vengeance samples usually and Thomas Panton Thomas Panton Essentials Volume 3 uh, it has some cool effects so everything together sounds like this this sound before the drop uh, this is actually the first note of these leads with a lot of reverb and then reversed so it's like this uh, and then the drop the drop is actually really simple, not many elements, not that many elements. So the main element, the kick, uh, it's sampled from Blau, as you can see from uh, Remix Stems for Escape. It sounds like this.
uh, also bus to the drum, drums bus, uh, just EQ. Yeah, I can show it because it's frozen. Uh, EQ low cut at 30 hertz. I low cut everything at at least 30 hertz. Of course, leads and high sounds are low cut at uh, way higher. And then a zone imager again for making the sounds up to 120 hertz mono. Then uh, I'll start with the bass. The main bass uh, is the Moog bass from Silent, uh, but I had to bounce everything out because otherwise it would crash all the time. Uh, so this is hard sounds. It's playing the same notes as the sub and guitar bass there. Uh, actually nothing special here. An EQ. Uh, and I just got rid of some annoying frequencies here. Low cut and high cut to make space for the other two bass sounds. Then there's this R bass plugin from Waves, which just boosts a little bit of this frequency. Then a compressor to get rid of some peaks. Another good thing about bouncing tracks, other than Make your make your CPU suffer less is to actually see how it sounds before processing. So you can see here, you just get rid of some some peaks, nothing crazy. So like some two dBs of gain reduction, I think it's enough. Uh, and then. There's an ozone imager again for making sound mono. Uh, then the second bass. Uh, it's a hard bass. This is actually a massive preset, uh, an aggressive wobble but it's used as a baseline. Again, EQ, this is high cut at 250, so it goes well with this mock bass. And again, I got rid of some frequencies. Uh, a little bit of stereo spread. And then this chainsaw bass, which is also a higher bass. And all together they sound like this with the kick. Uh, about processing bass, EQ just I got to read just uh, here for some dBs because here's the part of the spectrum where, where the lead hits or how to say, I don't know to make some space for the lead actually the reason why I didn't uh, low and high cut it here is because I EQ'd uh, individual sounds then kickstart for a compression I used nice and tight 96% And then there's a glue compressor again. Uh, so some bus compression. Uh, and this tape stop you can hear is from Effectrix. Just this vinyl effect stop it. These are the settings. And this is it. Moving on, there's a pad. It 
It's actually the same sound as this pad, but with different processing. There is a phaser and a factrix again for the tape stop. Uh, and the phaser settings if you guys want to know. And then uh, moving on to the leads. Uh, also the leads are bounced so I can't show you which preset or sounds they are. But I think as I said this main lead is from silent I'm sure. It's a super saw I think from the uh, default factory bank. The super saw. Um, it's EQ'd, so first how it sounds, yeah, like this. EQ, I got rid of this annoying frequency here. Uh, some stereo spread, but nothing special like 8%. Uh, and then a zone imager again to make it sound a little bit wider and up stereo this is again a free plugin to make things wider you can hear the difference so this is the main sound together with this one this is also a super saw a little bit different sounding almost the same settings and together they sound like this uh, there's another super super saw uh, but this one is really high this one is from vandalism uh, I think yeah, vandalism shocking sounds 5 uh, preset called Miami uh, it's really high EQ high cut it uh, it's low cut it really high sorry and spread it so together they sound like this you can hear a difference this high sound helps a little bit and then there are uh, like three other leads this one is I call it in your face because it's completely mono there is no zone imager to make it really mono and EQ uh, I low cut it uh, all the scenes at approximately 200 Hz uh, to make space for the kick and the bass then there's this piano lead uh, I think it's from Nexus just EQ this one is also high cut uh, and then there's this detune song this one is also from Nexus I think it's a German trumpet too but I'm not completely sure. Uh, again, EQ, some spread. And then there's this lead noise. Uh, it's a massive sound. And all together they sound like this. without noise and with it it's a really small difference but anyway uh, for me it works and I can show how I made this noise it's really simple uh, it's just a massive sound so massive if you open up massive the default sound the new sound it sounds like this you turn off the oscillator, you have the noise on, you amp to the maximum, and it will sound like this. <laughs> 